Today we're going to explore one of rock and roll's coolest guitars. The player is Rivers Cuomo. The guitar is known as Blue. Not to be confused with the other Blue. Check out that video next. Rivers' Blue Strat copy is the guitar he's most associated with, and for good reason. Also known as the Cuomo Caster and the Strat with the Lightning Strap, it's also one of the most copied guitars. Let's explore why. First, we have to go back in time to before he became former governor of New York and before he became immortalized in cartoon form on American Dad and Despicable Me. Nailed it. Rivers Cuomo was born in New York City on June 13, 1970, but raised in Pomfret, Connecticut from age five, where he spent years at an ashram. Ashram? Ashram? Nailed it. It's called Yogaville. Sounds fake, but it isn't. Check it out. It was funded in part by singer-songwriter Carol King. While at Yogaville, Rivers learned meditation and sign language, which came in handy years later with the formation of his band Weezer. In 1989, he moved to Los Angeles, California with his metal band Avant Garde, which quickly broke up. On Valentine's Day 1992, Rivers formed a new band with drummer Patrick Wilson, bassist Matt Sharp, and guitar player Jason Cropper, whose guitar is the inspiration for Rivers' Blue Strat. That band is known to the world as Weezer. Yay! In the summer of 1993, Weezer signed to Geffen Records. They recorded their first album at Electric Lady Studios in New York City. Produced by Rico Kasich, who I always called Rico Kasich, because he has one of those names where you can't tell where the first name ends and the last name begins. Like Rob Lowe. Is it Rob Lowe? Or is it Raw Blow? Yummy! The album, which is self-titled, became known as the Blue Album. And while several music videos feature the Blue Strat, the guitar itself is not on the album. The guitars used to record the Blue Album are reported to be Jason Cropper's Red Fender Strat, Rico Suave's 60s Fender Jaguar with a matching headstock, Gibson Les Paul Special, and Fender Telecaster, pictured here. Most influential in choosing the components of Rivers' custom-spec Warmoth Strat was Jason Cropper's Red Fender Stratocaster, which had three humbuckers instead of the traditional three single-coil pickups. The pickups in the Red Strat were a Seymour Duncan JB in the bridge, a single coil sized Seymour Duncan Hot Rails pickup in the middle, and a DiMarzio humbucker from hell in the neck. According to Weezerpedia, quote, Jason Cropper did note that every day he was present for the sessions, Rivers was using the Red Stratocaster. It is possible that Cuomo recorded his parts with the Red Stratocaster, but used Rick Ocasek's Les Paul Specials when he famously re-recorded Jason Cropper's guitar parts after Cropper's exit from the sessions." End quote. Rivers ordered the guitar from Warmoth before leaving for New York to record the first Weezer record. Upon returning to Los Angeles, the guitar arrived and was assembled. He began playing it live, including in TV appearances beginning in 1994. Now a quick history of Warmoth guitars. In 1976, a company named Boogie Bodies became one of the first companies to offer replacement guitar bodies and necks. This is the company that Eddie Van Halen said he bought the neck and body for his Frankenstrat from in San Dimas, California. In 1980, a man named Ken Warmoth left Boogie Bodies and started his own company. Warmoth allows guitar players to custom spec their own instruments. Now let's zoom in and take a closer look at the Blue Strat. Closer, 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 enhance. This guitar is clearly a replica of Rivers Blue Warma Strat copy. But since it's made to a very close spec and these photos of the real guitar are super blurry, we'll use this one to illustrate and not break your eyes. For the body wood, Rivers chose maple, which is an odd choice considering how heavy it would be. The neck is also maple. The fretboard is Indian rosewood. There are two knobs, one volume, and one for the black ice mod, which we'll go into a little bit later. The guitar features a three-way pickup selector switch and a 500K CTS volume pot 
allegedly. The bridge pickup is a Seymour Duncan Trembucker 59. The neck pickup is a DiMarzio Super 2, which is a super distortion, but it's in the neck position and is a lot brighter. Both pickups are what's called F-spaced, which means fender spacing. Fender guitars were traditionally made with single coil pickups, and the F spacing is so that the pickup pole pieces line up with the strings correctly. DiMarzio calls it F spaced, while Seymour Duncan calls it Trem spaced, hence the name Trembucker. Rivers uses GHS Boomers 10 to 46. According to Weezerpedia, Rivers used gray Dunlop picks 0.73 millimeters from 1992 to 99, and now uses 0.6s. The guitar is a hardtail, meaning there's no tremolo, so you can't use a whammy bar. The paint job is sonic blue, the tuning is E-flat, and the pick guard is tortoise shell. It is largely speculated, though unconfirmed, that the Cuomo caster contains the mysterious Black Ice mod. The Black Ice circuit turns your guitar's tone control into an onboard passive overdrive. Passive meaning there are no batteries required. According to Stumac, the idea is that you can get overdriven sounds out of your guitar at low volumes without a guitar pedal or overdriven amp. The black ice is controlled by the tone knob in this case, though both knobs say volume. If you see photos of Rivers playing the blue Strat in the 90s, you'll come across a version of the Strat covered in black tape. According to Weezerpedia, in 1994, Weezer played on Conan, The Jon Stewart Show, and 120 Minutes, which was an MTV show in the 90s. And there's no tape on blue. So the tape was most likely added at the end of 94 or sometime in 95, after they filmed the video for Undone, the sweater song, but before they filmed the video for Say It Ain't So. There are parts of blue that are in dispute. First, the body wood. According to Weezerpedia and Warmoth, the body of the guitar was made of maple, which is an odd choice for a guitar, especially a Strat-style guitar which would traditionally be made of either alder or ash. The fretboard radius is also disputed. A few sites claim that the radius is 10 to 16 inches, but I haven't seen anything that's definitive on that. The bridge is allegedly a Charvel Jake E. Lee model ST111 made of brass, according to Mike and Mike's Guitar Bar. They also suggest that the tuners are Spurzel locking tuners, but again, unconfirmed. In a TV appearance on Letterman in 1995, you can see Rivers wearing enormous pants. It was originally thought that he was smuggling a bag of weasels. Others claim it was Rick Ocasek's neck. It turns out that Rivers had a leg problem. After one of Weezer's first shows, which was at Raji's Bar and Rib Shack in Hollywood, Rivers got into an argued Rivers who fell off the stage and injured his pelvis, causing his hips to shift and one leg to become shorter than the other. For this, he received painful leg lengthening surgery to correct the imbalance in 1995. And that's why he's wearing those enormous pants. I'm not supposed to say this, but he also had another lengthening procedure while at the hospital. In the articles I read, people mentioned an onstage accident that led to a 10 inch crack in the blue strat, which led to its eventual demise and harvesting of parts for another warmest strat. This one named Blonde because of the color. The parts harvested are said to be the pickups, hardware, and neck. Other than Blue, Rivers has several guitars that were ordered from 1997 to 2001 from Warmoth. One is a black strat copy tuned to E flat to cover older Weezer songs. In 2000, two more guitars were ordered. Both are strat copies made of alder instead of maple. One is light blue, the other is green. Both are said to be clones of the original blue strap. In 2001, both of the guitar bodies were replaced with unpainted maple guitar bodies. The main guitar was a blonde covered in stickers. Rivers has since gone on to use a bunch of other guitars, but we're here to talk about the blue one today. Many fans have noted that there are similarities between Rivers' blue Warmoth strap and Billy Joe Armstrong's blue Fernandez strap. Here are the similarities. Both guitars are blue, obviously. Both guitars have a Seymour Duncan pickup in the bridge. Both guitars are said to have Spurzel tuners. Both guitars have been covered in stickers at some point. Both guitars have had clones made for the original player. 
Both guitars have a cult-like following with many fans building their own replicas. Both guitars may be made of maple. Both guitars made their TV debut in 1994. Both guitars are copies of a Fender Stratocaster. Both guitars have gone through many changes over the years. Both guitars were inspired, at least in part, by Eddie Van Halen's Frankenstein Strat. Now let's look at the music videos that feature the Cuomo Caster, Undone, The Sweater Song, Say It Ain't So, The Good Life, and Pink Triangle. The Strat with the Lightning Strap holds a place near and dear to many guitar players' hearts, and I hope we got a little bit closer to the truth today. In the words of Yogaville founder Carol King, Namaste, all you cool cats and kittens. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. To support the show, please visit buymeacoffee.com slash secrets of rock.